Today I'm going to show you motion animation. We have a slide right here and when I click on it, a finger comes over and points to the first product right here. And then I click again and it moves over to the next product. I'm going to show you today how to do this. Okay, we start off with our slide. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go down at the bottom down here and we're going to reduce the size of the slide. The reason for that is we want to be able to see this little hand with a finger that I have pointing uh, on the side. First thing we're going to do is click on that hand. We're going to copy and paste it to make a copy of it so that we have our second hand that we're going to work with later on in the presentation. Our next step is we'll go up, we'll select the hand and we'll go up to the top to animation and we're going to start animating. Now the first thing we want to do is click on the animation pane. What that does is that opens the pan, animation pane that will show us all our different animations. And our first animation will be to draw our line and we go up to the top here on these different animation effects. What we're going to do is come down to the bottom, select custom path, and now we're going to draw our first path and come over here and draw this coming down to the bottle. Notice how this does not disconnect. What you have to do is double click on the end and we show how our animation works. Now the only problem is, is the hand does not point in the right direction. So we're going to go back over here and we're going to add another effect. So we want to go up to add animation to add effect. If we don't add animation and we go over and add effect, it's just going to replace our existing effect. So you want to make sure you go up here and add add animation. The same window that you had here comes up over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cause the rotation of the finger. Now we could do a grow and trim, turn effect, but uh, we're actually just going to do the spin one. And we'll come over here to spin. And now we have, you see our two effects. Now, if we, besides being able to play from over here, our effect, notice it didn't play because we could click on the first one and it rotates. The other way we can play this is we can go over here to preview and click there and it does the same thing. Now we have a problem with our finger. Number one is it uh, rotates too much. So we want to click on that. We want to come over here and click on the effect. And we have an effect option that pops up, up here on the right hand side. We want to click on that and we want a quarter turn spin. Now if we look at this, it'll come over. It makes our quarter turn spin. However, we want it to do it on the line to make it look more natural. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to make this instead of start on click, it's going to go with previous. Now if we test it, it follows the line. One thing I don't like is this right here is a little bit off. Let's try that again. It should be a little higher. And we're going to move it over here. And maybe I move it a hair more. What I'm using is my arrows to move this over. So it lines up. There we go. Looks good. So this is how we do the first effect. Okay, let's work on our second finger. Let's line up the uh, second finger first. So we're going to first of all turn the finger down so it's pointing down. And we're going to move it over here. And we're going to see how it previews, how well it lines up with the other one. The other one's a little higher and a little to the left. So we're going to move over to the left a little bit or move it a little higher. Try it again. And nope, close. One left up again. And one last time. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. So if we go into the presentation view, you will see that when we click on this, that finger 
it's a little bit to the left, but it's still still there. And so now we have to get rid of that finger. I'm going to move my one thing over a little bit. And how we get rid of the finger is we select the finger. We come up to add an animation to it. And we're going to do disappear. Now if we go to the presentation view and we bring it in. Boom. It should disappear. But it didn't. It's still there. What did I do wrong? I didn't do after previous. Now if we go back, try it again, finger comes in, boom, it disappeared. Okay, so we're all set. We got this first finger taken care of. Now the second finger. What we want this to do is to appear. Now if we come up here and we do an add animation, it's going to add it under this current list of animation. We This is a brand new animation. And so what we want to do is just come over and select appear. Now it'll appear. Let's go back to our little demo here. We come in. Notice it's not there. Now it appeared. You see that little quick little flash? Boop. The first one disappears. The next one appears. Now we're ready to add the path where we're going to actually go from this uh, particular product over to this particular product. So what we want to do is we want to go up and do select this first. Go up to do add, add, add animation. We want to come down here and this time we're going to do an arc. So I got an arc. Eh, not bad. Let's uh, make some changes though to that arc. We go up to effects. Come down here. We want it to go up not down. And so now it goes up. We're going to have to do some lining up here. So we're going to line this up to the next jar. We're going to have a little bit more arc than we had. And now let's see how that looks. First one comes in. Great. And now we go to the second one. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I hope it's of some use to you in giving your next presentation. Remember, content is king. Okay, for those who want to stay around for a little bit longer, here is a bonus in this tutorial. One thing I didn't show you in the main tutorial, and that is if we click on this finger, we can go up to the, where it says picture 9, select that, go down to effect options, and a window for effects pops up. And so we have different kinds of uh, the smooth start, smooth end, uh, we can do a bounce, we can add audio, we can have to add things to timing, like we wanted to go along the line longer. We could do that. We could add a delay. Let's go back to effects. One thing that's really common in animation is to do what's called a bounce. And a bounce is just simply that when the item gets to the end, it just doesn't stop. It bounces. So it is a quick bounce. And that's a, it gives you kind of a visual effect that's kind of uh, pleasing and, and able to keep people's attention. So we were going to go over here to about, uh, uh, let's do a big bounce here. Let's do four seconds. And so we're going to have a bounce on the first one. Boom. See that bounce? And let's go over to the second hand. And we're going to come up to the picture five. We'll come down here to effect options. And on this one, let's, let's add a big bounce. Let's go, uh, let's go almost 60 and click OK and we should really see this one see how it looks in presentation view bounce and then come on over bounce so you see how the bounce effect works